Hi, I'm Mark Darren, a season designer on Tales of Monkey Island. Uh, welcome to the commentary track. This is episode one. I'm Dave Bogan, director of art. Uh, Mike Stemley, uh, one of many co-directors on episode one. Uh, I'm Jake Rodkin. I did some design and some UI and stuff on this episode. I'm Eric Parsons, cinematic artist. Daniel Lopez, cinematic artist. I'm Sean Vanneman. I am a designer here, <laughs> and I like this game. <laughs> I maybe contributed one or two thoughts somewhere. Remember when this was during the day? Yeah, this whole <laughs> opening scene was originally during the bright, sunny day with no storms or rain or bobbing boats or any of the cool stuff. We should clarify, though. Five significant revisions. <laughs> this scene was originally on paper on a dark and stormy night with oh, the yeah. ships crashing all over the place. Then yeah. when we built it the first time, all of that was cut out. And made it, oh. and then we put it back. That's right. Yeah, I, yeah. The director's notes probably does actually say "dark, stormy night," blah blah blah, and all the cool stuff we wanted to have. And then we cut it out and put it back in. <laughs> and basically, this is the end of a theoretical, never existing uh, Monkey Island Five. At least that's the mistake we made of saying once in public, and then everybody actually thought we were serious and that this whole season should be called Monkey Island Six. Yeah. It's not. We had that as a joke for a while. Like we were talking about calling this first episode 601 internally and all this stuff. In hindsight, it's good that we did not do that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <Agreed>. <laughs> that might have been confusing. How'd you do that? Now, we wanted to open up a, right in the middle of a battle. I think it was the best way to get across who the characters are quickly, what the relationships are, um, without doing a lot of backstory. And I think it worked out really well, actually. Yeah, it's about a guy, a gal, and a creepy undead pirate that's always messing things up for them. Um, LeChuck, in this form, is really hideously diseased and poxed. Originally, we were thinking he might be some kind of walrus demon, and we kept went through several <laughs> sketches of that, and then we said, wow, that's really too weird even for us. To be fair, he wasn't actually a walrus. We, we were trying to combine all of his past uh, incarnations into one, and, and on top of that, give him some big tusks. Those yeah, tusks were bad ass. Really yeah. <laughs> I was a fan. We, yeah, the, tusk, <laughs> the walrus of Chuck is called back, though, in five. Is yeah. that right? Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Yes. Guybrush lists off his forms, and the walrus is continuity now. <laughs> I think it's uh, important to note that the cursed cutlass of Tiflu has, like, all of the MacGuffins from the previous Monkey Island games crammed together. There's a voodoo doll, the cursed ring. Uh, the root beer bottle and uh, one or two other things. That I can. A piece of the ultimate insult. Oh, a there. piece of the ultimate insult. Yes, Boy, you'd think I'd remember that. Uh, we should talk about Earl Bone maybe for a sec. Oh he's yeah. Here. yeah, yeah, yeah. Earl Bone. It's yeah. Earl Bone's here. Yeah, Earl Bone's the voice of Lachuk. Original voice well, of Lachuk. Right no, yeah. Yeah. he's in Hawaii. He's retired. Yeah. And uh, we yeah. dragged him back. <laughs> <laughs> and not to front on our original voice actor, but uh, it was awesome to be able to get yeah. Earl back. Yeah, the guy, the yeah. guy that we had was cool, and he did he did the job. But it was it's when we heard that we could get Earl back to play the check, I was like, well, let's yeah. just get him record episode one too when he's back. <laughs> Who pounded the payment on that, or did that just kind of come uh -oh. about? You know, it was actually Matt yeah, Matt Hanson, Hanson, the one of our producers. Yeah, where'd he go, Matt? He went for it. Big if you're a fan, of Earl Bowen. Yeah, yeah, email Matt. <laughs> <laughs> he'll make him show up at your house <laughs> <laughs> for all your Earl Bowen needs. Ooh, <laughs> bar, bar Floaty and Tales of Monkey hey, Island. The memorable Marshall. 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 Hey, guy. Punch in the face. Guy Versh is gonna do something. He punches him in the nose. So uh, this was. And uh, he says, "I'm gonna get you for that," and he's never seen again. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> This was our, our sort of first stab at uh, Make a Pirate, which we thought would commit, we'd uh, convince everyone that uh, there are different pirates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we totally thought that. Here's the first of our short and dumpy pirates, Davey Nipperkin. I think this was, you know, we realized pretty quickly that um, that instinct was very wrong. <laughs> And now, the second of our short and dumpy pirates, <laughs> Joaquin De Oro. And totally not rock rib. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, rock rib is Doro just scaled up like a 3X or something. They yeah. have a huge face. He actually kind of looked like Shrek. I think we turned him green at one point. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, this is the first Monkey Island, and we did some telltale innovations. <laughs> one was uh, characters look at each other. <laughs> oh, you mean their eye? You mean, yeah, we actually had con uh, controllable eye movement that the yeah. cinematic yes. can use. And, yeah. and then the breakout character of 2009. <laughs> 
<laughs> Reginald Winslow. Winslow yeah, who's, Reginald San Winslow. Whose name is actually a, um, a, a combination of the uh, guy who plays... Um, What's his name in the Die cop Hard? From Die the, Hard. The <laughs> cop from Die Hard. Reginald yeah, Van Vliet or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And then the Winslow family. Yeah. 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 He's a genius. And then people on the Winslow. forums mocked up a bunch of stuff with <laughs> that, that guy playing yeah. Winslow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We had no idea he was going to prove this popular in the first episode. So, something else uh, prevailing here was <laughs> windy hair. <laughs> 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 and uh, pieces of paper flying around. Uh, what else? Oh, particles. Look at that uh, hand. Oh, yeah. The first avid particles. Look at that hand. Yeah, Guybrush is poxed hand all through the episode. Darn spiffy. Particles. Winslow cranks that crank the wrong way. It's always bothered me because that's what makes the puzzle make sense is that he cranks it backwards, and he, but he doesn't do it. <laughs> But then he explodes. White, so the first go, yeah. white flash. First of any white flashes. Uh, hindsight. Yeah, kids love <laughs> that puzzle. Yeah, you yeah. were saying that this weekend. We were talking about that puzzle. Yeah, yeah just and everyone I know who plays through this game with their with their son, Loves basically that. they they they've I've I've been told from multiple people that they have to play this part over and over again. And we had to fight like Gibbons <laughs> to keep this. Puzzle. Gibbons are ferocious fighters. Yes. <laughs> 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 yeah, you can tell that no one knew Winslow was going to be all sassy when in these. Uh, oh well, there he said Winslow <laughs> is definitely finding himself though. Like, oh, I know, but just the know. number of times that you see Winslow with an eyebrow raised and like a little sassy smile, and every episode after this one is high. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ah, that's the one we'll use. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when does it look like he's hiding something? In every <laughs> <laughs> Club 41. Like any oh, shows. yeah, we're talking about Club 41, Mike. Club 41. That was the bar we knew we were going to get into in the fourth episode, but we knew we couldn't get into in the first episode due to size limitations, namely, and I'll say it now, the 40 meg limit on the Wii, so we named it Club 41 after the 41st meg we could not get on the Wii. Uh, and I remember playtesting it in its original uh, incarnation. And originally, there was a whole puzzle that took place in the dark in the bar, and then somewhere along the line, we decided, wow, it'd be really weird to start the season with a puzzle in the dark in the bar and people thinking that their computers had died. Yeah. Uh, so we chucked it and made it real easy. We say in the dark, it was a completely black screen. Yep. yep. Nothing on the screen at all. Yeah. Except for rollover text. Yes. Yeah. Little too early in the season to be doing interface jokes. <laughs> I also mucked up that uh, bar fight about... Uh, Three or four times. <laughs> so yeah, that's the invincible replaced thing. the puzzle. Yeah. Also yeah. went through three rooms. <laughs> yes. Ooh, combining objects to make <laughs> to make an object. Dark <laughs> Ninja <laughs> Dave. Yeah. Our new in innovation in in the world of adventure games. Yes. Inventory combination. <laughs> We're pretty proud of that. Breaking the catch on. Yeah. So we've got this new interface coming up where you click somewhere and the character walks <laughs> to where you've clicked. <laughs> We don't know if the world's ready for that, though, so you won't be seeing that in Telltale Games for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. So we, uh, we, we tried to bump up the acting on the characters, and, uh, and one of the things that sort of is a side effect is the finger snaps. <laughs> oh, man. We, uh, we, we always kept saying, like, oh, we'll just take them out later, you know? We'll just leave them in and, and see, and they never came out. <laughs> so, uh, by Yay, one of my four. favorite things ever. Oh, oh, yay, Guyverse yeah, Dance. Yeah, Guyverse Dance is the best. From the season, the yeah, that's that's worth googling as yes. well. <laughs> Another thing that may have gotten overused is the uh, the jungles. We we built yeah. a new system to uh, kind of expand our environments uh, by by creating jungle tiles that we could make a lot of different ones out of it really quickly. And so we tried to use that a lot to make the most of our space, but we may have overused it a little bit. I think over the, the, the jungle system in general ended up a little more cramped than we had originally yeah. hoped. Uh, Sam and Max, the third season of Sam and Max, has a sort of 2.0 version of this that's really cool for their city stuff. So go buy it. Go buy it. Sam yeah. and Max. Get it now. Whatever it's Get called. some. <laughs> the, the Devil's the Playhouse. Devil's Playhouse. Thank you. You would never know I'm working on it. <laughs> the Voodoo Lady! This is a great design. The Voodoo Lady's design with a skull on the face is one of my favorite things. Is that Ryan Jones? I believe, I believe it was actually Derek Sakai. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Design. yeah. Bringing yeah. back an old Wily vet from yeah. uh, Monkey 3. I guess that's Wily enough. It's not super Wily. Oh, the Pirate Parrot. The Pirate Parrot of Petaluma. A 
joke that we only really intended to use in the first episode and then became a challenge to every designer to try and use. Yeah, thanks about that. <laughs> yeah. Like, there was literally a line written in episode three where it's like, oh, that's gone forever. And then <laughs> it comes <laughs> back. Back. Oh! back. I, I tried. Also, Petaluma is near Telltale, and this is 25 where minutes away. Many of yeah. us live. I grew up there. Yes. <laughs> there is a cheese factory. That's, that's the Marin Cheese Factory. Yeah, actually, we don't we don't associate with that. <laughs> oh, this this is one of my favorite puzzles in the game, Mike. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of my, my favorite. favorite as well. I love yeah. the. Uh, and actually, we reference this internally a lot. This puzzle, um, <laughs> for a lot of good reasons, um, just in the fact that like there was a really quick feedback loop to all the things you were trying to do, and you could. It was a truly like a, a very nicely self-contained puzzle. Um, it was clicking and, and learning continually. And I really I like that. We get the guy in who didn't work on this episode, so we can talk about how brilliant we all are. Actually, my favorite thing about this whole thing is just that you get to shock a monkey a lot. Um, the whole thing. Oh, we, the, whole, over that. the whole thing just started with, can we shock a monkey repeatedly and uh, get away with it? And the answer and was, if, yes, he likes it. if he likes it, yes. <laughs> was that really the ESRB yeah. answer? If he likes it? Like, that was like... Well, that was, that was, that was, our, that was our pitch to oh. he's the ESRB. He's, like, well, he's not torturing he's not a monkey, he's pleasuring a monkey. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Hey, no. <laughs> if that was okay... This also has my uh, oh, yeah, my, fav my, my favorite shameless joke, which is... The uh, cut off my hand, isn't that a little rash? No, it's a very big rash! <laughs> and uh, Jared just killed that line. Oh yeah, Jared, our sound guy, our is the sound is, guy. He does sound effects. Oh, he does sound guy. Yeah. On the Santa Max and Walls and Drama Games, he does he all does the music. music. Yeah. Right. I always yeah. just would never undersell him as just... Yeah. By the way, uh, Bogan, the animation on the kickflip uh, picture get makes me really happy. I really like the way that looked. Hmm. Who did that? You? I don't know. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was <you> being <laughs> Who did that? Yeah, no, someone else. Actually, I think, <laughs> I oh, no, think I really this, don't know. Uh, this <laughs> series is where we first started um, doing a lot of heavy outsourcing <laughs> of animation. We did a lot of the layout yes. files yeah. in-house, gotcha. and we would use a lot of yeah. animation oh, yeah, contractors yeah. outside. Yeah. So. By outsourcing, you mean just like individual contractors? I think I did the layout. But... Yeah. Yay. <laughs> we could tell. These yeah, didn't like go to Mumbai, yeah, is what you're saying? No, like, I went to a lot of like <laughs> Cinematics, who's up in the Northwest. Is that cinematics, right? yeah. I don't know if we used them for episode one. I can't remember. I don't think so. I think that Important was, um, foreshadowing here. <laughs> so Got <on> pirates? <laughs> <laughs> Morgan's marketing is the worst. <laughs> oh, this whole bit with the uh, horn that... The indestructible bottles. They were supposed to play a much bigger role oh, originally. Oh, remember that storyline? Yeah. They were going to be holding these whole indestructible reefs, and the whole island was going to be encased in a giant bottle that was indestructible later. Oof. <laughs> That, uh, got, that got cut, but not not soon enough. Not that. soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> it sticks around. That's Master of Balance McGee. <laughs> 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 Which is why we're not showing it much. <laughs> did he? Are those peg legs recent in the story, or did he had them for a while? Yeah, no, no, no. Like he, had he had time to no, practice no, no. standing on them? No, no, no. They, when he gets thrown out of the bar, uh, Desinge cuts off his other leg. Right. Yeah. He already had one cut off. Yeah. I see. I want to. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I want to point out in this environment uh, that one of those last-minute edits was a Jake the uh, the, uh, the what's the the uh, map, <laughs> yeah, the machine in the back. <laughs> yeah, just at the last second, I threw in the entirety of Flotsam Island behind this one jungle <laughs> tile. <Yeah. laughs> this is awesome. You yeah. want to sell the scale of the place? Oh, I was we're not. Gonna, this <laughs> is the most tactically bizarre episode. This is the weird, <laughs> like Mike. Like, look at that thing. That's ridiculous. <laughs> like the weird <laughs> Mike contraption. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, if you need somebody to cook you up, like a bizarre mechanical. Contraption. Right, but then look what happens to this in episode four. Yeah. Yeah. When no, no, it's, it's just like, it's what the heck? Yeah. It's a method of the madness. It's a giant saxophone that controls the winds. All oh, those clams that you stick the, the yeah. pole into, the open things. Sticking the pole into the clam. You know. Yeah. Damn! Oh, yeah. Where's 
Burgess Meredith when you need them. <laughs> <laughs> Another bird appearance. <laughs> so birds were also things that uh, came in at the last minute, and uh, we're so glad that. Yeah, that yeah. one there, yay! Birds were key. Four of them. Is this, is this the first series wow. that we used um, excessive usage of camera shaking the winds are still and blowing in. things like, like that? We used we we had a little bit of gratuitous camera shake in Sam Max season two for the um, the Mamtron nine thousand. Oh, Wasn't there a bunch of camera yeah. shake in Dangerous? That's really the seed. That oh yeah, Strong Bad was it was all over yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> the rocking ships. And the thing is, Island in Monkey Island, since we didn't have point and click, since we didn't have to worry about people like having to click the ground to navigate, yeah, uh, we were able to make the camera go flying around a lot more. Yeah. Which is nice because you when when your when your interface for controlling the player is split apart from what you're looking at on screen, you can actually make it move around. Yeah. This one looks like it's missing so we can have ships rocking all over the place and not have people waggling the mouse all over the place. Which I think like in the dangerous car chase, I think we had talked about maybe adding some of that stuff, but you just couldn't because like you couldn't. Really something. Yeah. I'm ah, for no. more treatises on. <laughs> no. on Jeez. Yes. <laughs> <The first>, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I can't believe that's in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the cheese? The yeah. cheese joke. I also can't believe this was done by Tristan Wayne Gardens. Weather Vane just pops out. Weather Vane pops out so we <laughs> don't have to do more animation of picking it up. <laughs> My liege, I thought you were dead. I like to singe his air gun a lot. Yeah, like <laughs> um, in the YouTube. I'm <laughs> sorry. I, I really. Stanley. I have no <laughs> excuse for that. that but this is happens. That, that, and then we have though. the most yeah. disturbing puzzle ever. This is awesome, yeah. yeah Jared's, is Jared's vocal, whatever the heck that is going on. I think Jared actually <laughs> strapped himself into one of these things uh. to get those sounds. Yeah. And I wasn't there, luckily. We have them way around. <laughs> What? We have wind machines? <laughs> 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 I love how, like, three birds just fly. Yeah, yeah, they're okay, though. Yeah. yeah ESRB. Yep. <laughs> News. <laughs> that thing. That <laughs> thing. <laughs> that thing. <laughs> wind. Powered. Hope that doesn't come back to bite me in the fundament. Well, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> you just all started watching Guybrush. It's funny how you just get sucked into like watching the the, the, uh, the, the acting on Guybrush was a big step up for us, I think, yeah. as a studio. Oh, totally. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was just gonna say that. I think another thing is uh, in this series we tried to do change of day, uh, change of time of day. A lot. Yeah, yeah. We're dead. Help things. We planned all along for overall the course of the season to go pretty much from daytime to dead of night. Um, and then we <laughs> ruined it in the middle of episode three accident. Yeah, we kind of. Yeah, but you were in a How manatee so? through the whole episode, so... Well, it was, it was supposed to get increasingly darker, but then we just made it nighttime when the manatee eats them, and then it's daytime again when they're up top with the kava, and oh, then it's sure. just getting it back to nighttime again. Yeah, it works. Yeah, it's yeah, two yeah. days. You yeah. spent a whole night in that belly. Yeah, one night yeah. in a manatee. No big deal. <laughs> it, it was right for the scene, the uh, yeah. betrayal and the, the yeah. tender moments yeah. of Guy yeah. Bershon. Yeah. Morgan wouldn't have worked as well, I think, if it was not that nice, bright, sunny That's day out there. Swell. Oh man, I remember this. I remember, I remember watching uh, somebody struggle with this puzzle, which is actually I, I kind of like that tonally for where it the map is introduced. It's very important. <laughs> <laughs> I remember right off the bat, someone ripped that texture out and posted it on our forums. Like, oh, here's where you're going in episode two. It was like, oh, you, you guy. <laughs> Yeah, Guybrush is out of control hand is good in this mm -hmm. Well, the frustration of trying to figure out how to get it to stop maps really well to Guybrush's frustration, uh, which I like. And get me some grog for this hand. <laughs> and off they go. Winslow's booking. Yeah, yeah Winslow's <laughs> kicking in overdrive. Finally, the Rock of Gelato. Uh. Now, find a land. We got better at making things like that later on in the series. <laughs> this, is, uh, oh, Derek, yeah. this is Derek Sakai's joke. Yeah. <laughs> the, on the enhanced, the upper quadrant. And then oh. we originally were going to do some of the yeah the second the second telescope is the best yeah yeah oh, no. it's the Chuck Elaine look out betrayal <laughs> <laughs> it's the super wow. bright flower Guybrush <laughs> nobody saw it Oh, yeah. K capsize. It's, yes, that's right. Capsize. Good lord, it's K capsize. No, no, it's it's, 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 it's right in the moment. It's not K capsize. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, we're done now. <laughs> it's the waitress. Good game, good game guys. Good game. Good game. <laughs> it's the waitress from the planet <laughs> Threepwood. What, Sean? What? Uh, stop. <laughs> we can just fade that out. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> The waitress from Planet Three Wood. Yeah, <laughs> it's the other Elaine. <laughs> oh right, 